Good morning, guys. Just walking through uh, Newquay High Street. Just thought I'd show you that. And bought a Cornish pasty. It's really hot right now. <laughs> it's, uh, uh, Cornish pasty is normally meat and veg, but um, I'm vegetarian, so I just got a veggie one. You notice the uh, the crust on the outside, this bit here. That's where you normally hold it. And then, yeah, you eat into the middle. And I'm biting a minute, but not quite yet. I'll just show you the view. All right, I've given it a couple of seconds to, to cool down. Let's have a chew. Oh. Mmm, not bad. Mmm, so, come to Cornwall, gotta have a pasty, right? So, yeah, Cornish pasty. Ticked, checked. <laughs> um, Alright, I gotta get back to the uh, youth hostel. I had a coffee and uh, time's running out. So, yeah. See you on the bike. My dad used to drive one of these along Weymouth Beachfront. Time to get going. We're, lo uh, we're leaving uh, Boon Keys. Bon Keys. <laughs> bon Keys Deep Hostel. And I'm just going to quickly go to Tesco um, because I need to get some water and maybe some little snacks. And then we are ready to go go. Uh, yeah, it's bank holiday Monday today, which sucks um, because things will close early, and everyone's probably going to be on the roads. Um, but everyone will probably head back, so I'm going to Land's End. Uh, it might be all right. I'm trying to cross this road now, and uh, it's just lots and lots of cars. You see, if I can cross the road, I can show you the view. Maybe, maybe I'll come back along the seafront and I'll show you. Uh, but yeah, Tesco first. And then uh, we can start going. I haven't started my Garmin yet. I won't include these uh, few kilometers. Maybe about one. Check out that view. All right, so I went to Tesco and unfortunately, um, no water. So go to maybe Aldi and then I can start riding. But wow, water down there, look at it. Oh, so clean, clear. Cliff edge, stay out. All right, so good news guys. So I got some water from Aldi. This is at the back of Aldi actually, the view. Uh, look at those waves and water. This is uh, Nuki, if you don't know, it's a famous place to come surfing. And uh, yeah, here's the opposite direction. Anyway, we're leaving Nuki now. Um, we need to get moving. I bought two bottles of water. So I've added four kilos to my bike and we've got about 900 meters of climbing to do today. A lot of elevation, so this will be interesting um, but I can't risk it because today's bank holiday the next place I go to maybe they'll be out of order and I'll be in trouble so yeah I've got to take a lot of water and I've got a little bit of food uh, but food's never really a problem all right let's get moving came through here yesterday I'll get back up and out Oh, thank you. Thank 
get just all right so we're finally leaving Cornwall guys um sorry Cornwall Luki <laughs> not leaving Cornwall we're just starting in Cornwall oh this is a bit bumpy so this bit we should be all right there was a guy coming the opposite way I asked him if it was bumpy this route you say it's just the start or, uh, I don't know maybe there's a little bit more on the way um, yeah I had a little bit of confusion I thought I uploaded I, I made a couple of routes uh, and I thought I loaded the uh, map I was going to ride today on my Garmin and send me in the wrong direction but it seems to have it sorted now. Ah, that's quite nice. I'm going to turn left here. Oh man, that looks like a crap freaking route. Oh no. Alright, we got to go up here and uh, have to push up this bit, guys. Is this even rideable? Uh, oh, mate. This is not good. I'm not having a very good start today, guys. I'm not very happy at the moment. <laughs> um, these are pretty big, loose boulders, and then gravel too, so, or soil. And an uphill. Oh, mate, I'm super not happy right now. Because just trying to get out of Nuki, it's like I can't escape Nuki today. Doesn't want me to leave. Because, uh, yeah, like I told you, I had the wrong maps loaded and I'm looking at my OSM map and I'm thinking, what? That doesn't make any sense. Uh, yep, yeah, this is absolutely crap. I hope this is not going to go on for a long time. I can't believe uh, Circle Travels taking me down such a path. Because, uh, yeah, this is rubbish. Alright, that's enough moaning. Enough venting. I just want to get to Land's End. <laughs> and then you have crap like this. Kind of spoils the ride. I'm not riding. Oh, finally! What a quiet road. <laughs> no bumps. It's pretty smooth, guys. Oh, single laner. Here we go. I feel like we're now getting started. Oh, so much time wasted. <sighs> going up as well, guys. Going up. Could be a lot of that today. I think we've got about seven steep sections. Should probably going to have to walk up. That one back there is probably one of them. <sighs> anyway, let's keep going. So I've done the first hill. And you can probably see what I'm going to overcome today. Uh, to get to Land's End. See those hills? We're going over those. <laughs> Very hilly, guys. We'll get it done. Hey, oh. Just got to the top of the highest point of today's climb. Well, today's ride, I should say. Oh, actually, we've got up a little bit more. Uh, I'll keep chatting while we do that. And then I'll show you the view. It's not that spectacular. Um, it's kind of on a plateau. And we're not that high up either. 100 and 151 meters. That's what we're at today. Oh, we're going up a little bit more. But uh, there you go. That's what we're looking at. Uh, although this is the highest point of today's climb, it doesn't mean it's downhill from now on. Oh no, we've got plenty of uh, climbing left. So yeah, it's all right. At least the, the road is smooth at the moment. We take a left turn in here. 
Yeah, so this is probably the highest point now because uh, it's going down from here afterwards. <clears throat> yeah, nothing to really report so far. Let's have a good look, actually. Yeah, 152, that's a good guess. <laughs> and another trail. Yeah, a bumpy one, guys. Cracking stones everywhere. Every now and then, it's really bad for the rims, spokes, really jars you as well. But most of it is fairly hard, compact, stones sticking out of the, the ground. But it seems to be doing right so far. Wow, look at that. Like a little tunnel. Flat tunnel. You see the stones. Some of them are loose. Catch it roll, you might get knocked off the bike. It's a fast road. Just outside of Hala, maybe Haley, and we're gonna head to onto a cycle track here. I think. Yep, that is just so scenic. Ties out. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. Nice to have a bit of flatness for a change. It's been very hilly today. I'm going to stop off at uh, Penzance, it's about 11 miles away. We're definitely in Hala now and we're going to go on the bike path this way so um, yeah, on to Penzance we go. I just had to stop and have a look at this. That is just amazing. Uh, I've been waiting to see this actually. Unfortunately, we've got the sun right in the direction of it, so it's going to ruin the picture. But yeah, Marazion, that's where we are right now. Yeah, that's so cool. I think when the tide's out, you can actually walk over to it. Anyway, I'm gonna get back on track because the goal is Land's End. <laughs> Let's do it. We're not far now. So just leaving Penzance, guys. I uh, stopped for a moment to get something to eat. I was, I was needing it. I was needing a bit of fuel and it looks like I'm going to a dead end. Oh no. Oh no, there is a little bit of a gap. It's very tight. <laughs> um, yeah, check that out. Check out Panzan's lot harbour. We've got some uh, cathedral and buildings. All right, just give me a minute. I'm going to get on the road. Yeah, the bicycle route, which goes along the beach, uh, is closed. Number three route along the beach. Uh, but we just joined up to it. I stopped off at Morrison's. I was really hungry. I was lacking a bit of energy, so I had some food there and I charged up my devices. Um, topped up my water. Drank loads of water. The weather's not looking good, guys. Uh, at the moment, I've got a tailwind. Probably going to have a tailwind to Land's End, which is great. But uh, I plan not to stay at Land's End today. Plan to return back out this way, so uh, it might be 20 kilometers of lifts because uh, that's all we've got left. A lot of hills, but then uh, coming back, it's going to be hilly and a headwind. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, I contacted Warm Shower's host 
really hoping that they're going to take me in. Just, just a tent pitch would be good enough. Um, don't need anything else. I mean, you know, I'm up for chatting and all that, but they just provide me minimum of tent pitch. That would be amazing. Um, I'm also looking at uh, staying in a campsite. I haven't done any of those my entire tour, I don't think, so I wouldn't mind changing that up a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna move the camera off the handlebars just to show you the beachfront here. It's pretty cool. It would be nice to uh, potentially spend a couple of days here. It looks really pleasant. Um, yeah, so we'll, we'll see what goes on, guys. Uh, I don't know yet. So there's a potential campsite, potential warm showers host, but I'm thinking it's probably going to be a wild camp somewhere. I'm not 100% certain yet, but uh, we'll figure it out. Harbour and then lifeboats coming in. Not sure if they're doing some sort of ceremonial thing or, or what, because there's quite a few lifeboats there. I gotta stop stopping, but this is just so picturesque. I have to get it in. And dance is so nice. Oh, it's so good to me. Head this way. It's got these little narrow roads, which is annoying when there's lots of tourists with cars like this. It causes blocks, but not for me. I can kind of, I can kind of go through them. <laughs> but I've got to climb these hills. We well, don't need to do that with the car. Oh, it is undulating, guys. Same that. Same that way. Stumbling block, block guys. Let's get off my bike, it's very steep. Let me just show you. What? It's pretty steep, eh? Anyway, gotta keep going. Gotta keep going. Gonna make it. Let's go. And 46 meter elevation left. So, uh, this is it guys, we should be able to get there pretty quick now. Woo! There's some steep hills before. Uh, three steep hills, I had to walk up a little bit. Um, they're just crazy. Uh, anyway, let's keep going, keep going. Zooming along. Uh, yes. Yeah, it then. I have no idea where I'm going. Okay, I see it now. That's it then. The land's dead. Yeah, for a picture. I'll just give you a quick view from 
Land's End. Right, right by the cliffs. Over there is the uh, the first and last house, and that's where you go so, um, go get your picture taken. I kind of showed you that when I came in. I went and got the picture taken, and people started clapping. They were they were they were just surprised that I saw the car park. Anyway, uh, we've got to move because it's getting cold. And uh, the good news is, I haven't checked my email. Uh, but there's still time. Uh, I'm gonna sit on a campsite tonight. First time, first campsite. I don't think it's a nice uh, You know, in Nuki it was eight pounds fifty or something like that. Uh, so yeah, it's just a, a basic campsite. But I thought, you know what? I'll give a campsite in the UK a try. Uh, yeah, job's good. Enough. So now, I just need to get to Ivy Bridge. And once I've got to Ivy Bridge, uh, I've got basically from Land's End all the way to Dover. I've covered that entire distance from Land's End over all the way to Dover Roads, come back on the UK and then uh, through the middle of the UK. So it's kind of like a triangle. Uh, so yeah, that's my uh, stopping point, Ivy Bridge. That's where we're going next. Come into a campsite. I don't know where like, Somewhere around here. Oh, here it is. All right, so this is where I'm going to stop tonight. Show you. All right, so guys, I'm going to finish the video here, and I'll catch you in the next one.